I remember when I was young, I would um, teach the teddy bears at home. I would beat the plants and stuff like that. And I strayed a little bit after I finished high school, but I was back on the track of teaching. It is a childhood dream come true for Calder Hall resident Tanaya Wheeler. The teacher who began her career just four months ago is exploring avenues to better support her students. With a recommendation from a specialist at the Mount St. George Methodist Primary School, Ms. Wheeler was one of two Tobagonians who successfully completed a training course hosted by the Dyslexia Association titled Teaching Methods for Dyslexics. We learn about phonemic awareness, right? And with dyslexics, they have difficulty in matching word songs and symbols. So we learn how to get them to understand and to link words with word songs, right? Um, very basic. So like if I say cat, in the middle, we ask them what song they're hearing and they will say, ah, being able to understand and recognize the letter songs. Miss Wheeler, who also has her own private school, Tutopedia, explained that while she was not trained to diagnose dyslexia, before developing her teaching plan, an assessment is done on each child. So for instance, you come to me or you have a student that comes to me. Um, after I do that test and we start, I will do the alphabet. So what song does the letter A make, stuff like that, what comes between A and C, you know, and I would incorporate it into my classroom as well in the form of games. And while many teachers have been facing major challenges navigating the virtual classroom, Ms. Wheeler expressed that it has been smooth sailing for her. When I did my degree, we always had to include information in ICTs in, in our teaching lessons, right? So it was not difficult for me to get into online teaching during a pandemic because I already had the basis of how to use Google Classroom, how to incorporate games into your classroom, how to look for videos and so forth. As school reopens on Monday, the Mountain George Methodist Primary School teacher is ready to incorporate all that she learned during the dyslexia training course in the classroom. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.